Hello, this is John Bass, and I want to post a couple tips on the QCon Pro. I just purchased this, this uh, unit yesterday, got it in the mail yesterday, and I um, was pretty excited about it. I went to hook it up to my Windows 7 computer down in my studio, and make a long story short, it would tell Pro Tools what to do. Like, you know, you could hit play, you could hit, you could move your slides, Pro Tools would react to that. But the communication circle wasn't wasn't being done, where Pro Tools could communicate back to the QCon Pro. Well, um, and another thing, since that wasn't happening, the um, none of the uh, uh, number readouts were not, that never did come on. Also, my um, my readout here, all it would say is, uh, you know, I'm in the Pro Tool mode, and um, so I knew that the QCon Pro wasn't getting any, any information because the MIDI in light wasn't blinking. When I'd move a slide, the MIDI out light would blink, but that's it. So anyway, I called the people at QCon Pro and um, ICOM, whatever they called. Uh, they couldn't figure it out. And so anyway, I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load it into my Mac Mini and see if it works there, just to make sure that the unit works, you know, itself. So I did that. Everything worked perfect. So I knew it had to do something. Had to do something with Windows Seven. Uh, saying Seven because that's what I hooked it. You know, that's what I installed it into. So then last night I said I'm going to try to see if I can figure this out again. I typed in on YouTube. This guy was having the same problem with a Mac keyboard using using the Huey protocol. Well, one thing when you when you hook it up, you probably will get an arrow sign saying. You know, uh, Huey isn't you know isn't making this connection and stuff like that. I knew I had all the settings and Pro Tools done right, and you know still wasn't working. Anyway, he said, "What you do?" He says, "Go to your Pro Tools icon or whatever you call it, the um, you know the little shortcut. Click right, and when you go to open it, hit Open as Administrator. Once I did that, Pro Tools opened right up, and then I loaded this first song up." And the whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree. Everything was working perfect, just like it did in the Mac Mini. So, that was a very easy fix, but I totally appreciate that guy sharing it. And I was just lucky that I came across his um, his YouTube channel. So, I thought I'd share that information. The next little tip is not that important, but um, your QCon Pro comes with these little templates. Like, this is this is a template for the Pro Tools. And I'm the kind of person that I don't want it just laying there because, you know, sometimes the edges don't lay down good. So I went to Hobby Lobbies, and I bought this tape right here called made by iCraft. It's called Easy Tear Tape, and it's a two-faced tape. It's real skinny, and um, I just stuck this on the back of that template every place I could stick it on. And then after I did that, I peeled off the little the backings of them and then put it right there, lined it up perfect, and I mean it sticks perfect and it just looks like it's just laid right down on it. it looks like it's made for it so anyway but yet later on if I need to change it I'll be able to get it off without a big mess or anything so anyway I just want to share those two tips and hope that helps you out like uh, that tip helped me out we'll catch you later this is John Bass have a great day goodbye